Hello YouTube and welcome back to another World Painter tutorial. We are back on the Medieval Canto map and today we're going to be looking at painting the terrain. So in the last video we were doing mountain ranges and we were making these beautiful mountains. Um, I think they're beautiful anyway. I have continued it on and joined it all up down here as you can see. We've got some nice little arm of the mountain coming down there. We've got a little bit of unedited terrain there but who's really going to see it? I can't be bothered. Um, and we've got this little section here that's coming down so it kind of foothills kind of mountains they're not as tall as these ones here but they're tall enough to stop somebody you know wanting to easily traverse to get to the other side um so if i've pressed control and three we'll get a nice 3d view you can see these mountains here in game yeah i think because it's all grass there's sections that look very very dodgy um, so let's come in here, here, and there is one little bit that I want to touch up before we start. So this little section here. So we're just going to get a raised tool, we're going to get a hill tool, and just sort of beef this out. Because it was looking very, very steep there. So we can just bring this out like so. And this should fix all those problems that I was seeing. Just like that. And if we go back into the 3D view now that's a lot better so that was very very steep a minute ago so that looks nicer um i think we're kind of all right for the majority of this terrain obviously these are very steep i want these to be steep um so i think we're kind of ready to do the painting of the terrain uh, which is the point of this video so let's get started then let's stop talking let's get on with it so we have a few different materials that we want to use and because there has just been an update on world painter we now have loads of custom blocks that we can use so i think originally we had 12 or 24 and now we've got 48 so doubled so awesome amazing can't wait so we have mossy and stone let's just take a look at this edit custom material uh, we want to see what blocks we're using stone call on one stone two and mossy cobblestone Right, well, we'll leave that. We'll make a. That's, we have light stone. Is this just light stone? I want to check. Yes, that's just light stone. And this is. And the custom material. Just dark stone. So that's good. We've got those two. I do want a mossy one. So we're going to make a new one. So to make your own custom terrain, you're going to go to the custom terrain tab here. Right click on one and create custom material. And you can name it whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name it moss stone because that's what it's going to be color we're going to give it a pale green because it's going to be mossy but it's going to be stony so pale green i think that makes sense so we'll go for like that color um and it's going to be complex because we're using more than one material if you're only using one material you do simple more than one we're going for complex so we're going to use stone add material we're going to use stone uh in fact add material we're going to use three we're going to use stone as well we're going to use colon zero colon one and colon two now we've got to do the occurrence. So the occurrence is how often it appears. At the moment, it's split evenly into threes. So we want more of this one, because one call on one is the nicer mossy. One call on two is the thick top moss. And I don't really like that texture so much. So we want a lot of this one. So let's go for 500 of that. And just hit enter twice and you see these bounce each other out to 250 which is good and bad sometimes it gets really annoying trying to get the precise numbers that you want um, but we've got those and then actually i think that might be fine yeah and we're just going to use a noise brush we're going to have it random we don't really care too much about detail because we're not going to be seeing a lot of that brush so we've got that in the moss stone and that's mossy stone moss stone mossy stone so now we know the difference right so we've got that in fact i'm sorry i'm going to have to go back in here edit add material and we're going to add the had we're going to have to add some grass um and in fact we're going to go to two two, two colon two just in case two colon two is the stone grass um and you see now it's messed up our numbers um oh god Let's see, let's get this to 400, uh, this to 200, and this to 200, 
that to 400. See how what I mean? I don't know if there's an easier way that I just don't know about organizing all of these. Maybe it's because I'm pressing enter twice. I don't know. Let's see. That's going to be 400. That's going to be 200. That's going to be 200. Enter twice. See, no, because that's changed to 205. That's as close as we're going to get to having it balanced. So screw it. <laughs> so we've got that. And this is going to be our base layer. And we're going to select at or above 40 degrees. Uh, we're going to get a nice constant brush, so you can use the square or the circle, I just always go for the circle, I don't really know why. And we're going to do intensity 100, zoom out a bit, and we're painting all of this. All of it, so if I use the wrong brush we make a mistake, so we get the spray paint tool, make sure we've got everything checked like we just did, at or above, got that tool, we've got the right material, that's looking better. So this is going to take a, l a little minute for it to load, just because of um, how much we're trying to do in one go. You can see it's doing it in chunks. And we just let that load a second. And there we go. So, so there's, there's that. There's that. There's our mossy, and we've messed up a little bit there, but... but oh no, I'm going to have to fix that, because I really like that. So if I, don't, if I don't do that... Okay, so that is done. Now we want to move on to our next stone layer. So our next stone layer, we're going to go to the terrain. We're going to go burst stone. We're going to go at or above 45 degrees. So that's going to cover all of that material that we've just made as long as it is above 45 degrees. Now this is at above 40 degrees, so we should still have a lot of this mossy layer covering the lot of the mountain. So we'll just brush this like so all over there i've also noticed that i keep saying like so and stuff like that and that's because i've been watching a lot of slip gator videos <laughs> recently and um, i just keep the scenes in my head so let's head so let's just go check out the 3d view and yeah mountains are looking a lot nicer just by changing that material to stone look at that really popping now really standing out so let's go back in custom terrain dark stone and I actually i'm wondering we have stone and stone 5. We might use this. But let's use it and let's see what it happens. So this is one that I used on mountains here. This mountain look here, the pallet town bit. Um, and it kind of looked alright, but we're going to go out or above. Let's go ra a really random number. We'll go for 53 degrees. And... Are we going to have to change the colour of this? Edit custom material, colour, just so it stands out and we can see. We'll go for a slightly darker shade, okay, okay. And paint that in like this. And this is kind of the easy bit, but this is just guessing at percentages and trying to get these all right. Um, when it comes to fine tuning, that's when the video is going to get interesting. So you can see now we've got these. That it's mainly darker stone now, but you can see there is light stone at the top of these little peaks. Um, I don't really want to zoom in because it might take a minute to load. Uh, let me just see if I can find one of those sections that I was just talking about. So you see, there's a slight change in grey here. Like if I change the colour to something like yellow, you'd clearly see the change. So in fact, let's do that just so you guys can see the change. Edit custom material, colour, yellow. Oh. Okay, okay. We're going to the 3D view, and break my world painter, because it's all got to change colour. Mm, it might not work. I might have to close the 3D view and reopen it for it to change the colour. So close, control 3, there we go. So if you ever get a little bug like that, just close it, reopen it. I'm sure you guys know that kind of stuff by now. But yeah, you can see there is bits of grey all in here, so... That's why we're doing that. In fact, let's just leave them out in yellow. Why not? Um, and then we're going to use... We've just used that. Let's use the dark brush. And we're going to go at or above... No, let's use the light one. And we're going to go at or above 67. So that's 15, 14 block difference. And we're just going to paint in light stone all over the mountains. Just on top, like that. And I'm not too sure how this is going to look, but it could look interesting. 
if we do this, uh, maybe it waits a minute for its load. You can see now right at the top of these peaks, it's all like this color, white there. Um, so we'll just try to get that in like that. I think it means that this cliff here is going to be really, really white. Now we might try a different color. What I'm going to do now is export it, put it in, uh, go into Minecraft and have a look at what it looks like. Um, see if there's anything we need to change and then I'll quickly go over doing a snow layer for the mountains and how to do that and uh, and then I think we'll do what we did in the last episode and I'll sort of go over and find you and everything and then show you guys what it looks like if you spend a bit of time because this is rushed and it's not going to look perfect first time you do have to sort of fiddle about with little things and experiment so we'll check out what it looks like in game at the moment we'll do the snow layer and then there'll be the big final reveal at the end so be happy okay so here we are in game and this is what the mountains look like now i have turned shaders off because i don't know it's just really yellow and didn't seem to match um the moss yeah the moss the moss needs to be a lot more so we will bump that up this is one of the things about i was saying that you need to come in game and test it out uh, so we do need to bump the mossy stone up yeah the occurrence of it so that, that's something that we've learned from this. Um, I told you that cliff would be completely white. Which we can work with. It means we can maybe use some like white materials for the Dwarven Hall, I guess. Um, the rest of the stuff, I'm not too sure if I like the stone and dark stone mix that we have. Um... And especially when you've got it mixed like this. Uh, I think I'll experiment with different ideas. I mean, I've shown you guys the base of what you're doing. Uh, so I'll experiment with different ideas and hopefully I'll come up with something good in a few couple of goes. Um, and obviously we're going to be doing the snow on top of the mountain. So there is one thing I want to go check out real quick. And that is the uh, foothill type areas. Um, so this is going to be right along the edge of Viridian Forest. Uh, this is a huge, huge flat area, which could pose a bit of a problem uh, for like, you know, what the hell we do here. Um, so maybe if you guys think that that area is too big and too flat, you can come up with an idea of what could go there maybe. Maybe just carry on a bit of the mountain or something, I don't even know. Uh, but. I'd, I don't know, it's good to have big flat areas sometimes for building and stuff like that. Uh, other times it can be a little bit boring because it is so flat. So this is, whoa, voice is going weird. This is the foothill area that I was talking about. So you can see we do have these nice little grass gradient slopes, but it is kind of hard to, uh, it's not easily traversable terrain, is it? You know, if you wanted to go explore over there it it would take you a while it'll take you a couple of minutes you know to jump around and get up there and do the stuff that you want to do but yeah see the the sections of these mountains that i think yeah the uh the colors that i've picked look good you can see that the end world uh, the world ends there i think maybe it's just the light stone i think maybe we just don't use that and if we do use it we use it only on that cliff um, I think that could work. If we just get rid of just the light stone and just have it as the dark and light stone mix, that could work. The only thing I'm afraid of is that the dark and light stone mix looks a little bit too random. Hmm. I'm not too sure. I'll, I'll let you guys decide in the comments what you think about the dark and light stone. Unless I already come up with something else by the time I finish this video. At this moment in time, I'm not 100% sure. Um, so we'll see at the end of the video, I guess. But I'm definitely going to be taking out the light stone. We don't need that in there. Um, or at least not in the way that I've been using it. So, yeah, back to World Painter. Okay, so here we are back in World Painter again. And it's time to do the snow layer. So, ah, snow layers. Uh, let's see, this is 157. We want to kind of get a gauge for our height about where we want the snow so we want to make terrain and we have deep snow a thick layer of snow so that's what we want so we want that snow layer and we want 
paintbrush tool, that tool, everything's still fine, 10 to see 100. And now we're going to start using these ones. So we're going to use at or above. And I think 170 just for a test. Because this is the deep snow. So at or above 170. Uh, we want to uncheck the 67 degrees. And just do it as a big thick brush. There, there, there's that. There's that. We go into 3D view. And it's, that's fine. It's not too bad. But we do want to click feather. And see how that affects. The thing with the feather is it doesn't really do it properly, especially when you have the intensity on high. So let's undo all that. There we go. Turn the intensity down. Do a couple of clicks. That's a little better. Um, next, we want to try and do uh, what else is it? The snow layer, so custom, snow, no, this is where we want to use something completely new. We're going to go a layer, and we're going to do plus custom ground cover layer. So you've got lots of different things here, but we're going to do custom ground cover layer. Make sure I'm clicking the right one. See all these different things here, things here, all these different ones of all the different objects that I've made, but we're going to make a new one. And we're going to call it snow layer. Leave it as white. And I think the snow layer is like 70, 80, something like that. Uh, snow block, snow. That's the right one. Data value zero. And press OK. Uh, so we've got that. And then thickness. Hmm. Let's see. Thickness. I guess that doesn't really. Oh. We don't want it that thick. Thickness, I don't know, five thick? I'm not too sure what that's going to do. One. I'm sure we only want one thick. Uh, variation range, I don't think these really matter much because, you know, it's only one. Uh, ground colour, it's going to be white. Okay. My ground cover is going to be snow layer. And preview pattern. I'm not really sure what. Okay, so this shows you what the brush would look like, I guess. Yeah, interesting. Okay, uh, <laughs> sorry, I was just playing about with that then. So we've made that now, and where's it gone? Where's it? Did it? Did it not make it in the end? Did, did we not make it? Custom ground cover layer, snow layer. So we do have it, so where is it? Custom terrain? Layers? It should be here. I'm pretty sure it should be on here. One of them. There we go. So custom layers, it's at the bottom. And we have snow layer. And what we're going to do is... At or... Ooh. Ooh. So we're going to do at or below... Actually, no, yeah, this shouldn't matter, actually. We don't need to do that or below. We're going to lower this to about 157. Make sure it's still on feather, a low intensity, and we're just going to lightly over all of, over all, all of those, those mountain blocks, mountain blocks. So, what we should do, should do create a snow-covered a snow layer all the way down, and hopefully with better snow, it's going to completely come up. Now, if you just uncheck that, and then I really want to paint these at the back like that and with this being the ground uh, the snow covered layer in fact let's try this as well only on burgrass grass because I know that I've changed it all to burgrass. grass so now that we're doing that scroll over this should only go on grass hopefully that's the theory anyway so we can get that going nice and into the see now I'm getting precise because if this idea works I can do quite a lot of detail with this brush Okay, so once again, we're back in uh, Minecraft now, and I've only exported a really tiny section of the map. You can see the world border was right on the edge there. And it's just, we want to just look at this snow layer and see what the idea looks like and see if it could work. And if we want to bring the snow layer, like, you know, to a lower height, because that's something we might want to do. We might want to make the snow layer down. The first thing I'm noticing, actually, 
this looks a lot better now that I've removed the white stone. Now there is sections where it's stayed. I'm not too sure why it's done that, but we do have some sections there, for example. I did put it back on the cliff, because um, I just thought that looked really, really nice. Um, and I think we are going to make sure that there is snow on all of these grass blocks. But if we come up here... <sighs> why, Conquest, why? Um, so better snow didn't work with this. That might change if we do a frost layer. Okay guys, so we're back and this is kind of as good as it's going to get. Now, I was trying all these different things and I've said in a video about the deep snow layer and using the snow layer and that was completely wrong. Uh, the frost layer that I thought that it was going to use to change the biome to the cold biome so that the snow layer would turn up, that, that worked, but it works better if you do it this way. So what we have now is this is just the frost layer. We don't have any deep snow, we don't have any snow layer, just the frost layer that is already in the default world painter. And this looks brilliant. So this is how you get the smooth snow coming down properly. Um, and this just looks really, really nice. So what I've done, uh, for those of you that might be wondering with the world painting tutorial side of it, I did a, um, where it says at all but, uh, below, I think I, no, I said at or above 100. Uh, that was my like, sort of block limit. And then we also had the percentage, like the height variation. So I did um, anywhere below 50%. So if it was above 50%, the snow layer wouldn't go on. But anywhere below 50%, that's how I've got this effect. If people want to try and recreate that. And I think it's worked really nicely. It looks really good. I'm not too sure whether to carry it on or not down the mountain further. I don't really think it should. I don't really want to. Uh, I'll see what you guys think in the video below. Uh, but that is about it for this video. I just need to go and um, redo these layers for the rest of the map. Because as you can see, I've only been doing it on a small, tiny portion of the map. The mountains are looking really nice. The painting looks looking really good. And to stop these looking so bare, once we get some... Um, custom ground cover layers we are going to be using those for bushes and grass and that kind of stuff also something we didn't check out last time was the uh, moss stone um, I still think we could probably do with a bit more of that moss stone in here um, it was mainly supposed to be just like you know filtering so it's a bit of a transition between the grass and the dirt which uh, grass and the stone sorry which it has done but I think I need to play about with that try and get a bit more of the um, mossy in there apart from that guys hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial and it has helped it's not really been a proper tutorial format it's more being like you know experimenting but still i hope you guys have learned something i've definitely learned something especially with this um it's really fun doing this and these kind of videos so uh, if you want to see more of these don't forget to like comment subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one